When most of us think of animals, we think of various species which might be similar to us or completely different than us. Many of you probably thinking about that cute little puppy you have, but very few think about the social complexities in the animal world. After all, humans evolved from the animals itself, and we humans are very social. So animals must possess these social traits. Humans have learned many things throughout the evolution, and one of the thing we learned is trading. But when the trading for sex is done, it is usually referred to as prostitution, which is also known as one of the oldest profession in the history of mankind. Actually, that's the exact definition of prostitution: engaging in sexual activity in exchange for payment of money, goods, and services. Humans engage in such kind of behavior, but what about animals? Do animals have similar behavior? Many animal scientists studying these animals have found similar traits, such as in penguins, especially Adelie penguins. These penguins live in Antarctica. Every year around the end of October, millions of these birds. which spend most of their lives in the ocean move to the rocky soil area for breeding these penguins build nests from stones and pebbles their nest is higher than the surrounding which protects their chick from hypothermia through meltwater and rain for building the nest they collect stones which is quite rare in the area they live plus they live in millions they often face the scarcity of stones when this problem arrives Some penguins were found stealing stones from other penguins and in some cases it was found that the female penguins pretending to be single and having sex with other single male penguins for exchange of stones. In few cases some female penguins were found just flirting with single male penguin to get stones. In one case the female penguin collected 62 stones from a single male penguin. These penguins were not only found prostituting themselves but in many instances they also found male penguins engaging in rape gang rape sexual and physical abuse of younger penguins and also in necrophilia with penguins some of which had died the previous year not all penguins engage in this kind of behavior but very few of them actually do this this was first discovered by dr george murray levick in his studies during 1910 to 1913 he never published his observations it felt inappropriate to him to publish the shocking behavior of penguins the british scientist wrote his observations only in greek so that only educated person can understand later when his fellow scientists found out about his work then it was published in 2012 similar behavior was found in insects like the beetles These insects engage in a polyandrous sexual strategy which means that one female mates with several different males. Usually the female can get all the sperm from one male what she require for breeding. But they still engage in multiple copulation because the male provides goods such as food or water to female. When the resources are scarce they engage in more sexual act with more males. These insects live in very arid environment. so they often face dehydration and during the time of extreme condition or drought female seed beetle were found engaging in more sexual acts to get hydration benefits from male ejaculation on the other hand male life span observed to be decreasing because of the constant mating in benign environment but these are all animals which are completely different than us humans what about animals which are somewhat similar to us such as monkeys When scientists were teaching the concept of money to monkeys to examine their economic strategies, the monkeys started showing the rational economic behavior like humans do. They first taught monkeys that they could exchange small metal tokens for a piece of food. When monkeys understood this concept, scientists decided to put them in a market-like situation where they had a choice to buy food from different traders for the money they have been given. When both trader had the food which monkeys liked equally such as trader 1 had apple and trader 2 had grapes because both were their favorite food the monkeys spent their money equally on both items 
but when the price of apples was reduced and was given two apples for the price before, the monkeys always bought apples. These monkeys showed some rational human behavior of buying from one who provided most of the food. Adding more twist to the situation, when trader 1 offered one piece of apple and trader 2 offered two pieces of apples. Even though trader 2 offered two pieces but many times he actually gave only one piece instead of two. The monkeys always chose to buy from trader 2 making the better deal from the choices they had. After completely understanding the concept of money, in one case it was found that the male monkeys started paying money to female monkeys to have sex with them and the female monkeys were observed buying food with that money. That was the first observed exchange of money for sex in the history of monkey kind. This just confirmed scientists that the monkeys completely understood the concept of money. The monkeys not only stopped with this, they also learned gambling, stealing, unnecessary spending because in the observation they found never saving anything. This behavior of animals may not be termed as a prostitution in animal world. But from humans perspective, it is prostitution. But it is the nature which made these animals behave this way. Such as in beetles, the only goal of the male is to fertilize as many eggs as possible. Probably in case of penguins too. In case of monkeys, it is known as basic behavioral bias. But just the mere introduction of the concept of money to these monkeys can invoke many things. Looks like humans as well as some animals are not immune to the effects of money.